the concept of noise in decision-making, as dissected by Daniel Kashneeman, Olivier Siboney, and Kassar Sunstein, unveils a pervasive yet often overlooked dimension of error that permeates various spheres of human judgment. This phenomenon represents the unwanted variability in decisions that should, in theory, be uniform, highlighting a critical aspect of human error, distinct from the widely recognized influence of bias. The realization that noise contributes significantly to inaccuracies in fields as diverse as medicine, law, and business management underscores the necessity of addressing both bias and noise to enhance decision quality. The distinction between biased judgments, which systematically veer away from the target, and noisy judgments, which scatter variably around the target, despite an expectation of consensus, provides a nuanced understanding of the challenges inherent in human decision-making processes. The revelation that noise, much like bias, leads to substantial financial and social costs, emphasizes the urgency of mitigating its impact. The proposal of noise audits and the implementation of decision hygiene principles offer pragmatic approaches to reducing noise. These strategies aim to standardize decision making processes, ensuring greater consistency and fairness across various domains, across various domains. By adopting these remedies, organizations and individuals can elevate the accuracy and equity of their judgments, mitigating the detrimental effects of noise and thereby fostering a more rational, equitable decision-making environment. These insights compel a re-evaluation of the mechanisms underlying judgment and decision-making, advocating for a more deliberate and structured approach to mitigating the dual challenges of bias and noise. The exploration of noise not only enriches our understanding of human error, but also equips us with the tools to refine our judgments, ultimately leading to more just and effective outcomes across the spectrum of human endeavor. The paramount takeaway from noise is the profound yet often underestimated impact of variability in judgment, termed as noise on decision-making across diverse sectors. This concept, distinct from bias, encapsulates the inconsistencies and unpredictabilities that plague decisions, which should ideally be uniform. The revelation that such noise pervades critical areas of professional judgment, from legal sentencing to employment decisions, underscores a ubiquitous challenge to fairness and accuracy in decision-making processes. In decision-making processes, the introduction of a noise audit as a pragmatic tool for organizations to quantify and confront noise is particularly enlightening. By comparing the variability in judgments among professionals faced with identical scenarios, organizations can illuminate the hidden discrepancies that compromise decision quality and equity. This method does not require a benchmark for correct answers, but focuses on the spread of outcomes, highlighting areas where judgments diverge significantly. The implication for leaders and organizations is clear. Acknowledging and addressing noise is not just beneficial, but essential for enhancing decision, accuracy, and fairness. The first step is to recognize the presence and impact of noise, followed by systematic efforts to minimize its influence, thereby strengthening the integrity of decision, making processes, noises, insidious nature, akin to a leak in the basement, illustrates its tendency to go unnoticed, allowing organizations to operate under the false pretense of consensus and uniformity. By bringing noise to the forefront of organizational consciousness, leaders can initiate targeted interventions to reduce unwanted variability, thereby bolstering the credibility and reliability of their decision, making frameworks. The key to mitigating the detrimental effects of noise 
lies in a deliberate and informed approach to understanding and refining judgment processes. Through the strategic application of noise audits and other measures, organizations can move closer to achieving their goal of accuracy and fairness in all decisions, thereby enhancing the overall quality and effectiveness of their operations. Noise emerges as a critical problem in decision making because it represents the unwanted variability in judgments that ought to be consistent. This inconsistency is particularly problematic in areas where fairness, equity, and accuracy are paramount, such as criminal sentencing and personnel decision. When judges issue vastly different sentences for similar crimes, or when interviewers' assessments of job candidates diverge widely, the credibility and reliability of these decision-making processes are compromised. Such variability undermines the fundamental expectation of justice and fairness, leading to perceptions of arbitrariness and inequity. The challenge with noise is not only its presence, but also the organizational tendency to downplay or ignore discrepancies, favoring consensus and harmony over acknowledging and addressing underlying disagreements. This avoidance can perpetuate noise, allowing it to persist unchecked and unchallenged, further eroding trust in the system. Addressing noise requires an understanding of judgment as a human. Lead measurement, inherently imbued with uncertainty, Judgment occupies a unique space that demands a level of agreement beyond mere opinion, but acknowledges the potential for reasonable disagreement among competent individuals. This delicate balance underscores the need for decision, making practices that strive to minimize both bias and noise, enhancing the objectivity and fairness of judgments. In tackling noise, Organizations and individuals must cultivate an awareness of the inherent uncertainties in judgment and embrace methodologies that seek to reduce variability. By acknowledging and actively addressing noise, decision makers can aspire to more equitable, consistent, and accurate outcomes, thereby restoring faith in the systems and processes that critically depend on human judgment. The judgment scenario involving Michael Gambardi underscores the inherent challenges and complexities in the process of making judgments, especially in high-stakes professional decisions like selecting a chief executive. This exercise illustrates how individuals grapple with disparate pieces of information, weighing various factors differently based on their subjective interpretations and biases. The difficulty in arriving at a coherent assessment from a mix of both positive and negative information about the candidate reveals the nuanced nature of judgment, where significant details can be either magnified or overlooked, and seemingly minor cues can disproportionately influence the final decision. This scenario also highlights the concept of judgment completion where individuals strive to synthesize fragmented and sometimes conflicting information into a cohesive narrative. The drive to achieve a coherent understanding from incomplete data sets can lead to an oversimplified view of complex situations, potentially skewing the judgment in one direction based on selected pieces of information deemed relevant by the evaluator. The amplification of noise in group decision-making contexts adds another layer of complexity. Groups are not merely collections of individual judgments, but dynamic entities where the interplay of personalities, communication patterns, and situational factors can significantly influence the collective outcome. Factors such as the order in which members express their opinions, the assertiveness of certain individuals, and even nonverbal cues can sway the group's decision in ways that depart from what might be expected based on a purely rational analysis of the information at hand. This 
amplification of noise within groups points to the critical need for structured decision, making processes that minimize the impact of irrelevant factors. Strategies, such as establishing clear criteria for evaluation, using structured deliberation methods, and ensuring diversity of thought and independence in opinion, expression, can help mitigate the influence of noise by acknowledging and addressing both the subjective nature of individual judgment and the complex dynamics of group decision-making. Organizations can strive towards more accurate, fair, and consistent outcomes in their decision-making processes. The case study of music downloads orchestrated by Matthew Salganik and colleagues offers a compelling exploration into the effects of social influence on individual choices thereby illuminating a specific driver of noise and decision, making, in this experiment, the variability of song popularity across different groups, despite the songs being accessible to all participants, highlights how social cues can significantly sway individual preferences and judgments. In the control group, devoid of any social influence indicators, Participants' choices were guided solely by their personal tastes and preferences, leading to a baseline of song popularity based purely on the inherent appeal of each song to the individual listener. However, the introduction of visible download counts in the other eight groups introduced a layer of social influence, subtly guiding participants' decisions by indicating the popularity of each song among their peers. This setup revealed a fascinating phenomenon. The popularity of songs varied widely across groups, suggesting that individual judgments were heavily influenced by the perceived preferences of others. Songs that appeared popular in one group could remain relatively unnoticed in another, purely based on the initial download patterns that set a trend within each group. This variability, noise, and the popularity rankings across groups underscores the profound impact of social influence on decision-making, demonstrating that individual preferences can be easily swayed by the perception of a consensus among peers. The study's findings challenge the notion that quality alone determines success, illustrating instead that social dynamics can significantly amplify or suppress the recognition of inherent value this case study not only sheds light on a particular driver of noise, but also serves as a cautionary tale about the susceptibility of human judgment to external influences, highlighting the need for awareness and mitigation strategies in contexts where objective evaluation is critical. By revealing the role of social influence as a powerful determinant of collective outcomes, the experiment underscores the complexity of distinguishing between intrinsic quality and popularity, a distinction that is crucial in various domains, from cultural industries to product markets and beyond. Understanding and accounting for the influence of social dynamics is essential for reducing noise and enhancing the reliability and fairness of decision-making processes. Overcoming noise especially in the context of social influences on group decisions or preferences, is a challenge that many have grappled with throughout history. This phenomenon, where the popularity and success of options can vary dramatically across different social groups, underlines the unpredictable nature of collective judgment. Such variability can often obscure the underlying quality of the choices available whether they are songs, products, or ideas, leading to outcomes that can seem almost random. However, strategies for mitigating this noise and achieving more consistent, quality-based outcomes do exist, drawing upon a mix of modern insights and age-old wisdom. One approach to reducing noise in group decision-making is fostering a culture of critical thinking and independent evaluation. This involves encouraging individuals within groups to assess options based on their merits, 
rather than being swayed by early trends or the opinions of others. Ancient texts from the philosophical treatises of Socrates to the meditations of Marcus Aurelius emphasize the value of independent thought and the examination of one's beliefs and decisions. By promoting an environment where members are motivated to think critically and make judgments based on solid reasoning, groups can minimize the influence of arbitrary social trends. Another strategy involves the deliberate structuring of decision-making processes to limit the impact of social influence. Historical examples of such structuring can be found in the decision making practices of early democratic societies, such as Athens, where efforts were made to ensure that citizens' votes reflected their genuine preferences, free from undue influence, free from undue influence. In modern contexts, this could translate into anonymizing preferences or opinions until a decision is made, thereby allowing the merits of the choices to be evaluated without the noise introduced by knowing others' preferences. Diversification of perspectives within a group is yet another method to counteract noise. The Roman Republic system of checks and balances designed to prevent any single entity from gaining too much power illustrates the value of having diverse viewpoints in decision, making processes. By ensuring that a variety of perspectives are represented and heard, groups can safeguard against the dominance of a single trend or opinion, leading to more balanced and considered outcomes. Education plays a crucial role in equipping individuals with the skills necessary to discern quality and make informed decisions. The works of Confucius for instance, highlight the importance of education in cultivating moral judgment and wisdom and the context of modern decision-making, providing individuals with knowledge about the factors that should influence their choices, as well as training in analytical and evaluative techniques, can help to reduce the sway of social influences and noise. While these strategies offer a pathway to mitigating the impact of social noise, it's important to recognize that completely eliminating such noise is neither possible nor necessarily desirable. Social influences can play a positive role in exposing individuals to new ideas and perspectives, enriching the collective decision-making process. The key is to balance these influences with mechanisms that ensure decisions are grounded in quality and merit. Addressing the challenge of noise in group decision making requires a multifaceted approach, combining the development of critical thinking skills, structured decision making processes, diversification of perspectives, and education of perspectives, and education. By drawing on both historical wisdom and contemporary insights, it's possible to create environments where the quality of choices is the primary driver of their success, rather than the vagaries of social trends. In the endeavor to minimize noise within organizational or individual decision-making, adhering to six foundational principles can guide towards more accurate outcomes. These principles are not just theoretical constructs, but are anchored in a deep understanding of how decisions can be refined and optimized. Firstly, recognizing that decisions should pivot around achieving accuracy, rather than serving as a platform for individual expression, alters the fundamental approach to decision. Making this shift in perspective is crucial. It echoes the disciplined practices of ancient scholars and leaders who prioritized the pursuit of truth and effectiveness over the satisfaction of personal biases or the showcasing of individual prowess. By focusing on what is correct or most effective rather than on expressing personal views, decision, makers can cut through the noise that personal biases introduce. Embracing a statistical mindset and adopting an external viewpoint on the issue at hand further enhance decision, making accuracy. This approach is 
reminiscent of the methodical investigations of early scientists and philosophers who sought to understand the world through observation and analysis, rather than through the lens of personal experience or anecdotal evidence. By stepping outside the immediate context and considering statistical data and historical precedents, decision makers can identify patterns and probabilities that might not be apparent from a purely internal or subjective perspective. Structuring judgment into separate, independent tasks addresses the challenge of excessive coherence. This methodological federation ensures that information is evaluated on its own merits, preventing the distortion that can occur when trying to fit new data into an already forming narrative. This principle mirrors the analytical techniques used in critical thinking and scientific inquiry throughout history, where breaking down complex problems into manageable parts has been a key to uncovering insights. The caution against premature intuitions is a call for patience and reflection in the decision-making process. This principle advocates for a measured approach, reminiscent of the deliberative practices of judicial and philosophical traditions, where decisions are reached through careful consideration and reflection, rather than instinctual reactions. By resisting the urge to jump to conclusions, decision makers allow for a more thorough evaluation of the information at hand, leading to more nuanced and accurate outcomes. Gathering independent judgments from multiple sources and integrating them into the final decision leverages the collective intelligence of a group while minimizing individual biases. This approach has roots in the collaborative intellectual traditions of the past, where diverse viewpoints were sought to enrich understanding and consensus. By synthesizing these independent assessments, a more comprehensive and less biased picture emerges, facilitating more accurate decisions. Lastly, favoring relative judgments over absolute assessments can significantly reduce noise. This principle is grounded in the understanding that comparisons often provide a clearer frame of reference, making it easier to discern differences and make more precise evaluations. This technique has been employed in various fields, from art criticism to scientific research, where relative comparisons help to highlight distinctions and nuances that might not be evident in isolation. By embracing these six principles, organizations and individuals can significantly enhance the accuracy and reliability of their decision-making processes. This comprehensive approach, informed by both historical wisdom and contemporary insights, offers a robust framework for cutting through the noise and focusing on the essence of accurate decision-making.